Hi everybody, welcome back to Majestic Collectibles. Hey, I just thought I'd uh, show you this. I picked this up uh, yesterday. Uh, had a uh, contact that uh, contacted me probably a, a couple of weeks, well, probably a month or so ago, actually. It was before I went to uh, Hot Springs. And uh, this is his uh, childhood comic book collection, about a, uh, about a thousand books. Kevin, if you're watching this, hey, thanks for thinking of me and uh, uh, bringing them in. We had a really good time uh, reminiscing. We're about the same age, so bought a lot of the same comics. Uh, about a thousand books here. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll just start digging in it. It was mainly uh, Archie and uh, teen humor kind of books. A little bit of superhero, a little bit of horror uh, in there, but basically a lot of your Archie and I'll just, uh, well, if I can get this, this flipped up without dumping it here. There you go. So you can see see right there. Uh, nothing super duper uh, key in here that I could see. I didn't have time to research at all. But I just thought I'd flip through these quick. There are some Sabrinas which I collect. Uh, not very many. Um, so I'll probably go ahead and just... Um, pull those out and yeah, they might be duplicates too I don't know I'd have to look it might not even be ones I need uh, on that but a lot of laugh a lot of Archie stuff uh, condition this one's a little rough here so of course I I started there with condition condition overall is pretty nice I would say the average grade is VG to fine um, which which honestly is uh, a little higher than normal a lot of these you know, I get a pretty rough, uh, pretty ragged, um, and these these were, and I mean, you get some bent corners. You know, that's that's kind of be expected on that a little bit, uh, but overall, very clean, nice color, uh, definitely no smoke, no pets, anything like that. So that's always a plus again too. Uh, so that's always good. Uh, I'm going to move this up just a little bit here. Try not to. Uh, wiggle the camera here too much make it a little bit easier for me to to show you these in the boxes uh, each box holds about 200 uh, books more or less there were some coverless books in here we uh, as I was going through them with uh, the person that brought them in I just kind of oh see now there's a there's a Sabrina I'll I'll dig that one out uh, just kind of pulled those off to the side. There's probably 50 or so um, uh, coverless in there. So not bad out of that number of books. So there's one of the Sabrinas. Pretty sure I have that one actually, but it, that might be a little nicer than mine. I don't know. I'll have to, one of these days I'll have to resort my stuff and, and uh, thin out the herd and all the duplicates and, and, uh, Things like that. I'm pretty bad about that on my own collection. On there. So that's about it for for this box. I can thumb through them all if you want, but this would be a really... There's another Sabrina. Really long some Josie. Really long uh, video. Finally got that out there. <laughs> Kept getting interrupted. Uh, most of the boxes are kind of sorted by theme. So this is all a uh, Archie themed box and I think I've got I think I've got two of those that are pretty much just that's all they are is Archie and then I've got another one with some Harvey titles I believe yep here we go so hopefully you can see that okay I'll tip that up a little bit um, a lot of Casper a lot of Richie Rich a little lot of again nothing uh, Nothing that's really high dollar, but uh, good solid books. Uh, there are some collectors for them. You know, the average price on a lot of these books is probably two dollars or less, uh, unless there's something really, really odd or key in there. Uh, but, but not a whole lot. Uh, no Scooby Doo's, uh, which would have been uh, killer, because those those are some high dollar books. The Scoobies are, but there wasn't a one in here that that we knew of that we could find and uh and the laugh olympics and that stuff was probably a little little new actually um those are too new so these are all pre that mid 70s quite 
quite a few sad sacks. Uh, probably next to Woody Woodpecker. And, um, well, there's a few other books. They're, they just don't get too many people interested in the sad sack lineup. Uh, but that was a lot of fun. Let me get these other, other three boxes. I just like going through them. I am not a cherry picker. If, if uh, you've ever sold me a collection, I probably gave you the sermon about uh, don't let anybody cherry pick your collection. Uh, you'll, you'll get less overall, but you won't have to deal with all the, uh, all the leftovers. Because once you get your collection picked over, um, trying to sell the rest of it off is pretty tough if, if all the good stuff's out of there out of there and this is Dennis the Menace another title that um, yeah not too many people chasing those down either oh missed that one I got a couple of rough ones I'll just throw those off to the side got some hot stuff in there I think yeah most of this from here on out I think is all gonna be Richie Rich after we get get down to the there we go. So Richie Rich starting in there. Um, I think that's about it. I think these are all yep, these are all Richies on that stack. Again, all about the same era, all about the same condition. And this stack I think is all Richies too. Yep, they are. That one got that one got scrunched a little bit, but uh, didn't really hurt anything was not a super rare book uh, just a really nice group um, these are mostly in order so I don't know I'll have to go through and just kinda sort them out I don't know if I'm gonna bag and board them right away because of the cost of the uh, well the boards really the bags are not too big a problem so I'll probably go through these and pick out just a few to bag and board and there's a Christmas treasury sized one, the oversized book. A um, little older one too, if I remember right. I was going to see the year on this one. 75. So it's not one I see a lot. Of course, everybody's after Spider-Man and Batman anyway. But that's still kind of an interesting uh, Christmas treasury sized. Here, I believe, is all the other Archie titles. And you can see there are a lot of them. Definitely a big, uh, big fan, big reader of the Archie books. There are just a few, just a few digests in here. Uh, digests are really, really tough to move. Uh, to be honest with you, it's one, even superhero stuff. It's just. I don't know, it's a little too oddball for most people. I do not sell many of them in any way, shape, or form. But there weren't a lot in here, so I'm not too worried about that. But you can see, again, brilliant colors and stuff. So this is the second Archie box. And if I pull out anything really rare, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. But unless it suddenly appeared overnight, I, I don't think there's going to be much in here. Uh, most of you uh, guys watching the, the video are probably going to be a little more interested in this box here. Uh, Marvel Treasury, I uh, don't know what happened to it. It uh, got really, really super wrinkled. So that would be one if I don't press anything. I don't even know how to press anything. That would be one if I was going to press a book. I would try and press that one because that's, that's pretty cool. And it's pretty wrinkled. Uh, here's a little bit of the uh, the non-Archie, non-teen stuff. So, um, kind of rough. Uh, Superman 240, Neil Adams cover, and I think I've got a few more in here. Let me let me take a peek. Jimmy Olsen, Superboy, Adventure. Uh, another great cover. Always like that cover. Then the uh, the Batman there, 234, Brave and the Bold. Uh, I think this is the only Spider-Man I found in the whole whole run was right there. So that was about it, I think, for most of the Marvel. Got a little group of Wonder Woman. 
again not very many and there's a flash oh there was another spidey I don't know what happened there it got cut out or something uh, king size special 7 uh, here's one of the giant size detectives and I got a nice little run of uh, nice little run of plop here if you're into Basil Wol Wolverton again this is kind of lower grade good to VG stuff grade wise uh, but got quite a few don't have all of them starts at number three what we got six seven nine ten eleven now well, let's see get my now there's twelve fourteen fifteen sixteen eighteen and twenty so you know a good chunk of the run good chunk of the run uh, this is a little more up my alley uh, there were a few of these in there I really love that I grew up on the uh, the sci-fi horror uh, ghosts and stuff uh, well that's not a ghost do love the metal man here we go there's a showcase but more of the sci-fi stuff beyond the unknown uh, inferior five phantom stranger black magic um, you know dead man and challengers just kind of fun fun oddball stuff I uh, got a few House of Secrets. I really like those because they had Bernie Wrights in art, and he's one of my favorite artists. And that's one of my all-time favorite covers right there. Uh, I love that book. Uh, House of Secrets 124 on there. Tales of the Expected 120. They're books that don't have a ton of value, but I'll tell you what, try and find them. Uh, especially in high grade, they just do not show up a whole lot. Uh, I don't think they had near as um, high a print run as the superhero books. So they show up, but when they show up, they're just like this. There'll be a batch of them, or there'll be none at all. There's rarely a onesie twosie thing. Witching Hour, that was one of the first comics I think I ever bought by myself. It was one of the early Witching Hours. I still have it someplace. In fact, I think it was that one right there. And that it's amazing how long some of these horror sci-fi books actually actually ran. Donald, oh, forget about the Lulus. There's just a couple in there. Lulus still sell a little bit. Flintstones sell a little bit. Let me see what else we got in here. This is kind of I don't know if you want to call it the money box. I guess it would be the money box. This one's pretty rough, although it's a neat, neat book. Some uh, Top Cat, Tweety, nothing, Jetsons. Oh, there was a Scooby. See, I didn't even know that was in there. Let me see which number it is. Number three. So I'll have to see if I need that one for my collection. But there's number number three. She's pretty rough, probably only a good. But the fact that it's even there, Pink Panther, another hard book to sell. Uh, Fat Albert's okay. Wacky Witch. Nobody likes that one but me. Same with Little Monsters. Uh, here's a Ghost Rider 7. Uh, again, it is lower grade. You may not see that on here, but there's a big subtype crease down the center. Kind of rough on the spine. Love these uh, reprint books where monsters dwell. And of course, that's, that's the second series, Journey into Mystery. Warlock, Frankenstein, that was a great run. Chamber of Darkness, great run there. That's a reprint book. Well, so is that one for that matter. And that's another reprint book. So there's an earlier Iron Fist. Not 14. That would have been a big dollar book, that's for sure. Uh, and let's see what's over here. I don't know if you guys can see those. I'll just kind of... Beetle Bailey... That's the only Western book I think that's in here. Rawhide Kid. I guess I didn't look for too many of them. Here's, uh, here's some Charlton. Kind of starting to track some of this Charlton horror sci-fi stuff down. Um, again, it's not, not worth a lot, but good luck trying to find it. I uh, did get, let's see here. What do we got? Got a Yogi Bear. Chad, you'll have to let me know if you need the Yogi. Underdog, that's my favorite. Bullwinkle, I like him too. 
Flintstones with the Gazoo, Partridge Family, Barney and Betty. Uh, again, Charlton, so not a not a huge demand uh, for most of the Charlton books. Uh, but fun stuff, good quality stuff, good reads. Uh, Blondie I sell a little bit of, very little, but every once in a while I've got a fan that shows up once, Blondie and Dagwood uh, books. Uh, the last thing here, well, there's a couple more comics. Uh, there were some Madden magazines. Uh, oops. Uh, that's cracked. They're the super specials. Uh, but the super specials are all missing the inserts. So a lot of them had stickers or uh, something you could cut apart in there. And, and they are all missing, which does unfortunately uh, um, hurt the value quite a bit on them. So again, this is this is just really reader stuff with the uh, the condition it's in, um, <laughs> kind of like the shaft cover. If you're a seventies seventies uh, kid, you always hear of shaft. And here's just some regular mad issues, um, early seventies stuff. So a lot of the uh, um, you know fuel crisis stuff, Vietnam War stuff. Uh, you know, typical stuff that was going on at the time. Uh, so kind of fun there. Tower and Inferno. I haven't seen that movie for a few years. Godfather 2, Orient Express. This is this is probably the best cover. Uh, the whole thing on the Jaws cover there. At least it's my favorite anyway. Uh, Mad Pizza. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, okay, whatever. Ah, Six Million Dollar Man and Bionic Woman. Always love those shows. Uh, anyway, that's it, guys. Click like, hit subscribe. Just thought I'd share this little uh, collection with you. It's always nice when something walks in. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Hopefully, we'll, uh, we'll be able to pick up a few more collections as we go along through the year. Uh, so that's it. Check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.